I'm Dr. Brett Gilbert, board certified endodontist, and I've been doing endo for over 20 years, and I love getting out and exploring what's new in the marketplace, and I wanted to bring that information to you. So let's get busy discovering together and explore what new products are out there. Today's episode is featuring products from Kerr Endodontics. So the products I wanna to feature today are ones that I've used in my practice and I really think are worthy of your exploration. The first is the Traverse system. So Traverse is a glide path system, in essence, a coronal orifice shaper, as well as a very flexible glide path file. This starts your canal preparation, which then can be carried through in conjunction with the Zenflex system. Zenflex is a new file system that's just recently been released on the market, and this allows you to finish off your root canal preparation. It's a very versatile system with multiple sizes and tapers. And then lastly, I wanted to introduce you to the Elements IC. This is gonna be an obturation system, which includes both a System B down pack unit, as well as a backfill obturation unit. It has a very versatile base with the ability to very easily withdraw and replace the units to allow for effective charging while they're sitting in the unit. So I wanted to introduce you to these products. These are products I've used in my clinical practice extensively and wanted to share them with you to see if they are something that might help you with your treatments. So let's get into a little more detail with these Kerr Endodontics products. And I'm gonna start with the Traverse system. This is the Traverse Orifice Shaper. It's 25 at the tip with an 08 taper and it's a 17 millimeter length. This is a highly flexible orifice shaper which allows it to really flow with the natural anatomy. This is gonna be the beginning of your crown down preparation to start with the coronal third. The next file in the Traverse system is a glide path file. Now this is a 13 at the tip and this has an 06 taper. Now this is a very flexible, very movable and strong instrument that allows you to truly instrument the canal even without any hand preparation. So this would be taken essentially to working length and this is again the 1306. The Traverse system also includes an 1806 and your selection of which one you opt to use might depend on how tight or how open the canal is to begin with. Of course, you could use both if you had a very tight canal as a progressive way to open and create a very nice glide path. That's gonna be the key is creating a glide path with the newer instruments. Very strong, very flexible. As we now have created this glide path, we want to start to apically enlarge. So this is gonna be the Zenflex. Again, very flexible instrument. It comes in both an 04 taper, which is indicated by the yellow stopper, and also an 06 taper, which is indicated by the red stopper. So in my clinical practice, I typically prefer an 04 taper, but each clinician needs to make decisions on which sizes are appropriate for the case that they're treating. So again, once I've established this 2004 at the tip, I'm gonna to continue to apically enlarge with this set, moving into the 2504. So you're gonna see that as you get higher in size in the Zenflex system, you're gonna incorporate a little more controlled memory. Now controlled memory is a really cool feature that's been able to be enhanced within these files by the heat treatments that they use. Now each file system has a different type of proprietary blend, but these instruments, if you can notice up tight, have more of a purple hue. So this purple represents this very proprietary heat treatment that they do on the files that does incorporate this, this memory, this controlled memory. Now, as I move up further now, I've established a 25 at the apex. Again, I'm just simply apically enlarging with subsequent files. This is now the 3004. Now with the 3004, you can see I actually can create even more controlled memory within the file. So I can go up to 3504, 4004, and then ultimately, 5004, and you can see in the 50, there's a tremendous amount of control memory in these files. So they start out more flexible with the idea that they're able to cut more efficiently with the smaller sizes. Then as you advance up to larger apical sizes, you have more control memory to help maintain the canal curvatures and be able to do a very effective job of preparing the canals. So I wanna introduce you to the Elements IC, which is a great obturation system. So it includes both a System B down pack unit as well as a backfill obturation unit. Now a couple unique features here. The first is that this cradle is very easy to withdraw and replace the units. They have a special contact charging port on the bottom that allows just contact with the plastic to allow the charging to occur. So this is a very helpful opportunity because in the past you may have had to click it in or really press it in to get it to charge. Now when you power up the units, you'll see that they have a nice light up display. 
So with the down pack unit, you have these system B tips, which are removable. So you have different sizes and tapers that you can use for your obturation. And these just kind of push into position. They lock in as well, so they're nice and stable. And again, it's got the 360 touch. So no matter where you grab the unit, you can activate it by just pressing onto the button. You have a couple of different heat options. I like that it has the opportunity to go up to 400 degrees Celsius, and it's very nice for your down pack warm vertical or warm condensation type techniques. So again, we just drop it into the cradle and it automatically charges. For the backfill device, it's also very nice. It has a removable cartridge, which has the gutta percha inside this cartridge. So no gutta percha actually goes inside this unit. So there's really no maintenance that's, a, that's needed for this. So some other units you have to clean out the gutta percha. So having this disposable cartridge in which I typically can get one to two cases complete with this cartridge is very, very helpful. And what this has is a plunger that advances and pushes the gutta percha out of the little cartridge here. So as I press on the button, and again, what's nice is with these 360 degree buttons, no matter where you want to apply the pressure, it's totally fine. So as I press the button, you're gonna see this nice thermoplasticized softened gutta percha coming out, and this is very nice to be able to volumetrically fill the top part of the canal after your down pack. So this is the Elements IC unit. Again, a lot of nice advanced features compared to things that I've used before, and so I wanted to share it with you and have you explore it as a possible help for you in your patient treatment. Okay, so we're here in the clinical simulation setting to take a look at the Kerr products. We're gonna start with the Traverse and the Zenflex file systems. And anytime you're examining or reviewing a product, it's really great to see it in the clinical setting. And so we're gonna start off, we have our Traverse glide path file. This is the orifice opener, as we looked at before. And so this is just gonna be for coronal preparation. Always wanna use a little uh, lubricant of some sort. And as I bring it in, I really like how you're able to just very smoothly insert it into the canal. Um, it withdraws very nicely, it's very flexible. So it has a very reassuring feel as you're preparing that orifice opening. Again, we go through the Traverse system. Um, this is the glide path system that's intended to allow you to really create a beautiful pathway without having to use a lot of hand files. So if you're a doctor who's always used hand files to first prepare before rotary, the, a system like the Traverse glide path system really allows you to eliminate that and takes a lot of the burden off of your fingers. So again, I'm gonna add a little bit of lubrication. You can kind of see the file spinning here. It's got a bit of a purple hue. That's the metallurgy that we talked about the heat treatments and I like just really how flexible it is and when you insert it you really get a nice sense that it's going down easily and being able to find it kind of engage the dentin now you always want to be cleaning the flutes but you're gonna find that this is really gonna get down there nicely now if you have a smaller canal the 13 size is probably better for a more wide open canal the 18 will work very nicely and then ultimately moving into the Zenflex system so the Zenflex again it's very flexible very strong Again, I wanna just kinda of show you because I think some of these proprietary files, it's that purple hue of it that really is interesting and is characteristic strictly of this type of file. So again, always some lubrication. We're gonna spin it. Uh, Zenflex really cut very effectively, especially the smaller sizes are really nice. Like you can really feel them engage the dentin and you're able to get it down in place there. You get quite a bit of debris on the flutes here and you can carry this up again all the way up to a 50. They come in tapers of 04, of 06. Again, the, the very um, interesting sort of controlled memory that you can see here in the larger sizes will allow you to faci facilitate getting this into a tight corner in a smaller access opening. So the Traverse Glide Path system coupled with the Zenflex file system, very new, very intriguing. I think it's worthy of an exploration in your office if you're looking for a file system that cuts very well and is very flexible. So again, this is an interesting system, brand new, and I wanted to share it with you to give you some experience to decide if maybe this could be an option for your practice. Okay, for the Elements IC Obturation Unit, I wanna go through how we use this. I've been using this in my practice for quite a while and it's really been a great unit, mostly because of the performance, but also the ease of how it drops in and out of the cradle and allows charging very, very easily. So let's take a look at the technique and there's a couple different techniques you can use with this. So first and foremost, again, I talked about how you can instantly touch it and activate the heat. So you're gonna bring the tip right in to where the little gutta percha is. You activate the heat, you take it to about five millimeters and then you hold it 
and then you retrieve it out. And what you'll see is most of the gutta percha comes out on the tip. So this is actually wasted, but that's okay because the idea is that we wanna use this to condense the gutta percha down into the canal and create a nice apical seal. So you can see me doing that here. And again, it does stick to the plastic just a little bit. And so we create a nice condensed filling there apically, you can see that. And then the last part is to backfill. So this is really nice because when we activate, you're gonna see the gutta percha come out as I showed you. And again, we're doing this without sealer so you can see the functionality very easily. And so once it does come out, what I like about it is audibly, you can kind of tell when it's come out and you can see the gutta percha here is very stringy and soft. So much different than the gutta percha comb which we started with. So you'll bring this in, you're gonna make sure that it's actually touching to make sure that you're getting contact and then you're just gonna basically press the button and you'll see that it actually just fills the rest of the canal with the gutta percha. So this is a very effective way to fill, uh, ergonomically weighted very nicely. I think it's got clear display. Uh, the 360 ring is very, very useful. And I think it's a very nice unit to be able to use for either the hydraulic condensation, more of a single cone, or more of a warm vertical demonstration like I've just done here today. So Elements IC, really nice unit, something I use in my practice, something worth exploring. So I hope you've enjoyed learning more about the Kerr Endodonics new product offerings. We went over the Traverse Glide Path system, the ZenFlex system, and also the Elements IC unit for obturation. These products all get my seal of approval, meaning that I've tested them, I've used them in my clinical practice, and I think they're a valid option for any dentist who's looking to do root canal therapy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Also, leave any comments or questions below. I would love to hear from you. I would love to interact with you. And if you have any products that you'd like me to review, please let me know, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. So thank you for watching the video and have an awesome day.